And how do you feel about religion in today's society and how it has, the impact it has on, um, on the politics? I mean, I guess, should I start with this one? Or sure. I guess I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a multi-layered uh, question, but I think, uh, I mean, personally for me, I, um, I'm not as uh, religious as, as um, probably most folks, although, I mean, around here, that's not that shocking to say, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I think I believe in, in energy, uh, if I believe in anything. I mean, I think it's a lot of, you know, you kind of, chew, you know, you create your own meaning, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there is there is something there is a, a, whether, whether you want to call it an electrical current or whatever there is energy that is in all of us and uh, you know when you die uh, your your body goes away but that energy you know feeds earthworms or whatever and then it continues on in that way and it's mm -hmm. sort of a mm -hmm. grim thought <laughs> I don't you know I don't believe in like the afterlife beyond that but. Uh, mm -hmm. But hey, we've all been we've all been stardust, right? Isn't that a Carl Sagan maybe? Yes, yes, yes. Right? We like are the paraf chemical paraf makeup of stars. stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and uh, so yeah, that's that's my personal mm -hmm. take on that. As for you know, uh, religion in general, I mean, it, you know, I do think it is very easy uh, from a very uh, sort of a liberal perspective to be like, yeah, religion's the worst. <laughs> Let's get rid of it entirely. And, uh, you know, I, I guess maybe I go back and forth, but I mean, it, it's, it depends on, uh, you know, how you, the, the, the fact is it has been used for really, really terrible things and still is. I mean, you know, we had a very close uh, election in, in Alabama, uh, Doug Jones won, it was very exciting, but, uh, you know, a lot of what people were saying is part of the reason Roy Moore got a lot of votes is he campaigned hard on anti-abortion. And that is a, something that has become very tied to religion. It didn't used to be. There's some very interesting, uh, you know, history behind that. It's a very weird, deliberate political move to tie mm -hmm. it to, to Christianity. It didn't used to be the case. But anyway, uh, and uh, so yeah, for me that that's that is a negative thing. I mean, personally, obviously, there's some debate about that. I mean, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it's also created a lot of good. And uh, you know, I mean, I for one have an aunt for example who is very anecdotal but I've got an aunt who uh, who does have faith she's you know uh, Catholic and uh, she uh, so Catholics are better than Protestants what I'm saying mm -hmm. no <laughs> I'm kidding um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> obviously that's ridiculous there are many viewers at home <laughs> who would love hearing yeah, I know that. we just we just lost the Protestants you guys damn um, <laughs> Viewership no, uh, <laughs> down. <laughs> anyway. uh, but no, but she's she's Catholic and she's done a lot of uh, great things uh, in France for uh, um, Saint Papier, for example. It's undocumented people. Um, she literally will take them in and give them a permanent home, so that like that helps them get papers. Mm -hmm. Like she'll do things like that. Like she's done all these amazing things. And one of the things that motivates her is you know, yeah, part of Christianity is charity, is being good to people. For some reason, a lot of people in this country seem to be focusing on all the fire and brimstone stuff. I think the better question is, you mm. know, who is exploiting why and how and who is exploiting people's faith for negative ends? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you can just as easily use it in, in, a, in a positive way and channel mm -hmm. that energy in a positive way. Mm -hmm. So Fire and brimstone is pretty lit, though. Will religion ever become obsolete? I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, I think that... As time goes on, religions will alter and shift to meet the needs of those who need to worship it. Mm -hmm. I feel that I myself am not particularly religious in the least. I grew up very religious. Mm. I grew up in many denominations of Christianity. My exit denomination of Christianity was like Quakerism. I've oh. been very, I, I delved into, you know, Sufism, Buddhism, mm -hmm. and stuff of that nature, but I'm not in any particular way religious. In fact, one could very easily call me non-religious. But one thing that I find about the way people practice the religion is the fact that um, there's a theologian called Paul Tillich who spoke about um, what faith is and how faith ult is being ultimately concerned with one's being mm. and how having that in mind, I, don't, I can't see religion being obsolete in any way because going back to before and how I find my self-worth and stuff, speaking of how my salvation rests on other people, it's often the case that communities make one's religious experience, you know, the case for different people. 
You know, you have the ritualistic aspects of religion that make shit meaningful. You have milestones that are recognized through tradition. You have intergenerational worth and value that comes from, from family members. Each of these things, to do away with that would be to do away with some historical aspects. And religion was very clever in binding themselves to these things because they wanted to have continuity. And for that sake, I think that the fact that we have that continuity, that need to, ex to explore, what the flour to, to flourish our being in a community, I don't believe that'll ever change. And I think that that's what makes religion so potent. It is very rarely has anything to do with the divinity claims. Although if, you know, by far, you know, we're in the era, you know, Jesus of Nazareth is by far, he's like the Kanye of gods. He just had, he's just so potent and well known. And he has those universal themes, which, you know, were mirrored by other divinity figures, but. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, in, Abraham. Yes, but in terms of what makes religion nearly incapable of being obsolete is that as long as there are people who are self-conscious of their being, there will always be that desire to figure out what's next. And with that comes all the beauty and the calamity of humanity as well. Mm.